Now we're going to look at how to generate images using pre-made Newport files. So we have a, a blank document here and I've written in that we're going to set the size. So the, the first step is to set the size of the output that we actually require. So one one uh, would be a square pot. Um, relatively straightforward, you can kind of play around with the sizes. And then we set the terminal to, uh, to PostScript because we're going to put an EPS file out. Uh, so PostScript EPS. And we'll use Enhanced. Uh, and then we'll set the font to 14. Again, you can play around with, with things like the font size. So we set the terminal um, sort of PostScript uh, uh, the size. So we put this one as 5.5. Five. Um, again, feel free to have a play. And then we'll set the output. So now we need to, to give a file name. So I'm just going to call this testfile.eps, just for the point of, of example. So because we're doing a 3D plot for this one, I'm going to set PM 3D, just like in a previous example. I'm going to unset surface, set view map, I'm going to set the size square, and set contours. So these are the same things that we've seen in, in the previous 3D plot example. And now we type splot, uh, and then our file name. All of these commands are, are the things that you would normally write into the terminal yourself. But we're, we're making this new plot script so that we don't have to type that every time. If we wanted to use a, a different file, then we could just go into this, change the name of the output, change the name of, of the file after splot, um, and it would generate it automatically. So deal with a couple of other things now. So set key outside right, putting an X label in, add our Y label. And then add a title in. So we'll save this. Now we give it the file extension .gpl. That's because we're we're using this as a as a new plot script. Now we've saved that. We can open the terminal, and we type new plot. But we don't hit enter. We don't go into the new plot environment. Type new plot, and then the name of our file, and enter. So this file exists. It doesn't automatically come up. So I'm just gonna just gonna open it manually. This will be generated in the same folder as, as you run this uh, this terminal in. Um, and then that flashed up for a moment um, but actually I, I decided I wanted to, to zoom in. So we're going to change the X range, change the Y range and then all we have to do is, is save that again, run it again just as before and then we can open it up. And here we have uh, a much nicer clean file. Okay, so uh, enjoy. So hopefully, now that you've had an introduction to Origin, MATLAB and Newplot, you can produce for yourself publication-grade plots that you can be proud of.